name is Kenny Small. For those of you who don't know me, I'm the HR Director for NHS Lanarkshire and it's a real pleasure to compare this, the first ever staff award ceremony in Lanarkshire, NHS Lanarkshire. And I'd like to thank you all very much today, first of all for being here, um, to support the awards, support the nominees and um, generally create a good buzz, as I've said, around the ceremony. A particular welcome to the 23 finalists who are with us this afternoon, either as individuals or as part of a nominated team. You're our first ever finalists and you've set the standard. And I've read a lot of the background documentation and nominations and what a standard. There's a real bar set there very high for years to come. It's absolutely fantastic we've got so many people here today. Part of what we're after today is to try and get some feedback. In a past life, I wasn't for these sort of events. I just thought NHS staff should get on with it. But a previous chair I worked with convinced me to do it and it's just snowballed. I think it's absolutely magnificent and hopefully it goes well today. Part of the reason for wanting to have the staff awards, if MD like myself is sad enough to read the local press at times or even the national press, you might miss you're working for a high performing organisation. To give you a small snapshot, we actually only opened the nominations on the 1st of December and we closed them at the end of January. During that short period, we had nearly 364 plus nominations and they came from right across the community. It's just to say the judging panel really did have a very, very tough job. Everybody that's in here is a winner. I want to make the point there's lots of winners not in here today and I just want to make sure that's recognised and acknowledged. They say that if you want something done well, ask a busy person. Well, John is a busy person, as you'll have gathered. But we're grateful he's found time to come to see us this afternoon and set the scene for our award ceremony. All through my rugby career, I had lots of injuries. Um, my first big one was on the back pitches of Murrayfield before what would have been a fantastic tour to New Zealand. I would have been going to play the All Blacks in New Zealand. I'd already played for Scotland and a Lions tour. So I'm the young boy, 22 years old, going places. Ran into somebody, reached out, and my kneecap was halfway up my thigh. I thought, no, no. So that was my first uh, big experience of operations. I've had about seven of them through rugby, hip replacement last year. Uh, and again, incredible. I really feel proud that I got it done through the NHS and I believe in it. A woman, the woman I checked in with had been knocked over by a bus and if her hip operation wasn't working, she was in a wheelchair, she walked out after three days. And I thought, that's what you do. So I'm pleased to be here. I've, I've been a lucky, lucky man. Um, and I do owe you lot, an awful lot. Thank you. If I can move on then to the first category. And the first category award is for an outstanding individual. We actually received 164 nominations just for this category. And the judging panel thought, therefore, that it was appropriate to split this award into two separate awards, um, those being for outstanding individual contribution in a non-clinical role and in a clinical role, so two awards. And we'll start with the non-clinical role. The winner and the non-clinical unsung hero is Jim Ray. And the winner of the outstanding individual in a clinical role is Karen Black. Karen is unable to be with us this afternoon. And so Janie Thompson is going to accept this award on her behalf. The winning team is the Accident and Emergency Team at Monkeys. the Outstanding Care Award is Mr Andrew Carton. <laughs> Volunteer 
award goes to Tom Denham. for innovation goes to Duncan Stang. The winner in the service improvement category is the Community Brain Injury Team. a very special award, uh, a national award, and is in recognition of a physician in, in Lanarkshire who has made an outstanding contribution to patient care and the education field. This award is called the William Cullen Prize and is being made today by the Royal College of Physicians of Edinburgh. I think it's very valuable that we recognise excellence and the Royal College of Physicians of Edinburgh is keen to support and recognise excellence in teaching and recognise excellence in service innovation at both the national and the local level. And the college wishes to support individuals and teams where they have made a significant contribution to local teaching, changing in service or service improvement. If the person um, I know who knows has got it because he's now smiling at me, <laughs> Dr. Mugapadi Babu, who I've known for many years, congratulations. You have provided drive and formal leadership to the improvement of success that the site has adopted for medical patient pathways. the great privilege now of being able to give a very special recognition, my award as Chair of Lanarkshire NHS Board. As Kenny said, this award recognises a person or a team who's made an outstanding contribution, not only to the services of NHS Lanarkshire, but to the communities that we work with. This recognition is about outstanding commitment, a fantastic contribution to person-centred care, dedication and achievement, putting our values into action and embodying everything we stand for in NHS Lanarkshire. I'm delighted that our very first Chairs Award goes to someone whose unfailing commitment to patients makes her truly one of a kind. Someone who demonstrates what these awards are all about. And the winner is Teresa Rennie. I want to take this opportunity to say a huge thank you to every single member of staff in NHS Lanarkshire. It's a real privilege and an honour to be chair of this organisation and I was very humbled to read the nominations that I did. It was a great inspirational experience and absolutely says why we are one of the best organisations.